A rock formation? That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. What do we have here? Quiet as a grapple, and you are. Petrificus Totalis. Revelio. Troubles brewing. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Ladder. That's what I need. Revelio. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. Best play. 
place for an unaccompanied. Incendio. Reven what will we find in here? Revenio. With a kind will submit to us once the war is over. It's punishment to us all to have that miserable human around. Hello, Amora. It looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. Revenio. A human's word is worthless. This prisoner owes us a metal we were promised. I wonder if Adelaide's uncle could be down there. One of the best meals I've ever eaten. Hello? Ah, 
What's down there? Mr. Rokes's wand. Where could it be? to learn the error of your ways. Revelio. Glacius. Arresto momentum. This door must need power from something. Lumos. Might be a 
Best meal I've had in years. No, I mean it. I don't think I should need to eat. This must be Mr. Oakes's one. Perhaps now he can set himself free. my wand and wait you're a student oh we must get you to safety immediately it's dangerous it's all right mr oaks i've dealt with these goblins before dear merlin you're either very lucky or very talented well, how did you find me i'm a friend of adelaide's she was worried about your business with ranrock's loyalists oh she was right to be i couldn't go through with the agreement and when i told them i ended up blindfolded and behind bars been locked in that infernal cell for so long they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasted goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizard kind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind, sees us all as cruel. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him.
学。Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Sometimes it seems all roads lead. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I wish I had the courage to go into the forest. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately. I've. Not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wiganweld potion, and you could retrieve something of mine in the process—a box uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love.
Hogsmeade, here I come. Expelliarmus! These rocks have seen better days. The Ministry ought to loosen the ring from the dark. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Wonder who lives here? Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolph Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolph want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. An entry from Bardolph's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. Seems a pleasant. Ah, Upper, Hog Upper Hogsfield is being terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. It's I not right. Some gold. I couldn't help but overhear 
Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Baldov dared to stand up to them and ended up in St Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <laughs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. You will regret coming here. One of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. The Pulsar! Ah! Uh, I won't rest until you're dead. Ah! Glacius! Ah! Pulsar! Ah! Accio! Ah! Someone there? Over here! How nice of you to see. Incendio! Kunfringo! Expelliarmus! Incendio! Ah! 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 Rebellio. One camp down, one more to go. on Ranrock's hands. Both camps cleared. Madame Beaumont will be glad to hear that. <laughs> Expelliarmus! Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for, exactly? 
Thank you. Sincerely. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. Thank you for passing through. Thank you. 